Well, I had good practice yesterday and hopefully fix some things and try to continue to fix things today. I don't know. How good is this team? The other team? They're good enough. You know, we're going to have to play well. I'm sure they'll do like everybody else. Try to make a shoot on the perimeter. For a game like Purdue, obviously no one's happy, but do you have to chew on these guys? Or was it so apparent that that things didn't get done correctly that they kind of take it on themselves? To... Well, I would think they'd have to understand. All I can tell you is they, you know, they, we had, I thought yesterday, one of the best practices we've had in a while, so, for whatever that's worth. TCU taking these possessions so long, are they, are they really attacking the full possession, or are they just sort of killing 20 seconds and then working hard the last 15 to, to get the ball in? No, they run good sets. Uh, they run good sets. They they, they, they look, you know, at, at the options when they come through. and um, They've got good continuity to them. I mean, they just try to make you guard for the full shot clock, but it's not like if they have something before that they're not going to—they're not going to take it. How have Terry and Gary looked uh, in terms of their health? And you expect them to be able to go on uh, tomorrow night? No, they were both fine. I mean, they both—they both, they both uh, got through practice yesterday. I didn't. I didn't see any problem. Was Terry a game time decision at Purdue, or was it just a situation where you wanted to, to travel? No. Uh, struggled in practice the day before and struggled in shoot around that morning. Tried just about everything. For sure. Is there? Are there any other directions that you can go in with this team? You know, Dave. In all honesty, you know we're we're a shot or a call or you know a bounce away from. You know, winning another three or four. Um, I think the problem is we don't make that happen. You know what I mean? It just we kind of hope it happens. And, um, but I mean, you can go back and look. I mean, there's. We seems like we've missed free throws when we shot the ball decent and shot the ball bad and made free throws. And, but we're, you know, really, you take the Gonzaga and the Purdue game away. We certainly had our chances. You did something at Purdue. That, I don't know whether it was just out of frustration or something long term. But you gave Garen more of an opportunity to see what he can do. Is that with an eye on maybe giving him more of an opportunity because little else is working? That's totally up to him. You know, um, A.B. hadn't played in, in quite a while, and, and I think he proved in practice that he deserved to play, so we played him. I'm not, I'm not a proponent of giving guys things just to give it to them. I mean, that's, that's totally up to him. I mean, we gave him an opportunity. 
I don't think there's anybody who can honestly say they haven't had opportunities. Any more chats with Andy Kennedy in recent days? No. No. Talk to Frank, but... We just gotta make something happen. Matchup your small lineup has, or is this one where you would hope your bigs can take? They don't take necessarily away. play a small lineup. They, they've got they've got two guys that that well, they've got three guys that primarily play two positions that are more post guys than they are perimeter guys. So I I don't think that's a a situation where there's they're playing four perimeter guys. That's not an Iowa State. For that matter, it's not a Kansas State. <clears throat> Bob, when you do play your four, that four out, the one in is Kevin. Um, and with the reason, I guess, what excuse me, his his game just fit really well, like, kind of like a selfless guy for a selfless position there. Well, he's rebounded the ball. I mean, he, he went whatever it was, three or four games, and got at least nine rebounds a game. That you can't say that about any of those other guys. Hey, it out, it out. Can you play that with the other bigs? Can I do what? Can you play that four out with the other with yeah. Dom or Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, somebody'd have to rebound. Yeah. I mean, you go back to the Texas game. Kevin's rebounded the ball better than anybody else has. He said he has to think his way through a little bit for that. You got to be in the right spot for it to set a screen or to, to back off. Um, that just kind of suit his way, kind of a an intelligent move, position. Uh, how much you have to think to stand on the block away from the ball or flash into the high post? I don't think that's ultra complicated. Is post guys want to they they want to be ball side, and all we're trying to do is trying to get the help, get as much help away as we can, and give them a better opportunity to rebound it. He'd been coach of the year in three different leagues. That's, I think that's enough of a, uh, enough credibility. Yeah, he does a great job. I mean, they're they're very disciplined. They they guard. Um, I think you know he's given his team the best chance that he can give them to win. That's that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, Horbrook said they do a great job of keeping games close. Their low possession and in defensive intensity. I guess that's pretty apparent. Well, you know, I mean, I think what they're trying to do is make you score in the half court. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I think we all understand it's easier to score in transition than it is in, in, in the half court. So I think that's what they're trying to do. Trying to make sure that they, they get back and they're playing five on five. Mm -hmm. 